Hi everybody and welcome back to Splatoon 2's Hero Mode with Bombs Only Revengeance. In the last episode we did a few more levels in Sector 3 and today we're going to be finishing it up. I think in the last episode I said that we'd move on to Sector 4 but I don't know if I'll have enough time today to do that. So regardless I'll just finish up Sector 3, do the boss and stuff. Uh, the boss might be a pretty long one anyway so it's a uh, not as long as the fourth boss, but the third boss is still in a league of its own. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Surprised I managed to get up there. That was uh, pretty tight. Okay, but first of all, let's finish sect, uh, sect 15. No, not again. I messed up with the sector level thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's level 15, not sect 15. Okay. Need to get my tongue straight. And now I need to throw curling bombs on top of the thing, apparently. That's not where I was aiming with that. Okay, is that enough ink for me to climb up? It should be. This might be a mistake, but let's try it anyway. Nope, I made it. Okay, good. Anyway, Sector 15. I said it again. Level 15 is what I meant, not Sector. I've Sector, I've sector on the brain. But uh, this is another Octoling level. Yeah, and it's in the Humpback Pump Track. Uh, more Octolings. Really? Yes, really. And it's just the same as the the other octoling level that we did before, except this time they've thrown in a toxic mist and I can see you there, ready to jump in. And I know this octoling jumps in, I think it's like... I think she jumps in like right there? Oh, that was too soon. But uh, I... well, uh, these octolings have rollers and they do a bit more damage. Uh, they kill you, they break your armour in one flick, is basically what I'm saying, as long as you're close to them. Okay, let's get our first mini zapfish. Nice view from here of all the all the zapfish. See the beams of light above. And uh, yeah, we have Toxic Mist introduced here, which drains our ink as long as we're in it, but uh, it's not too threatening. I think another Octone appears around here? No? Around there somewhere. Over here? I'm sure there's meant to be more than that, but... Okay, maybe over here? It's eerily quiet. Another Toxic Mist up there. Uh, okay, I... What? I'm sure there was meant to be another Octoling. There's armor up there, I should probably go grab that. Didn't break that toxin. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Okay, here. Yes, okay. There we go. Good placement of Splat Bomb there. Catch them as they super jump in. And let's break that toxic mist thing down there. Oh god, there's another Octoling just on the other side. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Where'd... Are, they, are they down here? Or did they just retreat some, for some reason? Okay, let's... Follow that with an auto bomb. Wait, did I? I, I saw the I saw the power eggs being drawn to me, so maybe I did kill the octoling. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. They're all over the place. Okay, uh, and I think the octoling has retreated all the way up there. Right? Okay. Well, never mind. Let's just get another zapfish and oh, nope, another one just dropped in. Okay. Get that auto bomb over there. I should track her down. Didn't kill her though. Oh. Nope, there it goes. <laughs> Just as if on cue. Oh yeah, they've got some uh, crates hidden under the ink here. Throw a curling bomb. Reveal them. Wait, what? Just destroy my curling bomb. How dare you? Huh, weird. Didn't know I did that. Throw a curling bomb in between them. Just contains a few more power eggs. Nothing too fancy. But there's only one power egg per thing. Okay, let's break those toxic mist, whatever they're called, beakers or something. Okay, that works. Another Octoling's definitely going to spawn. This is like, yeah, there. Okay, on the other side of the wall, that's fine. I could just roll a bomb down there or get an autobomb to track it down. That'll do. Probably shouldn't be standing so close. Because they have uh, rollers. Rollers are pretty deadly. Okay, there's a splashdown special over there. I might as well pick it up just to get some extra power eggs. Oh, it's locked by a key. Uh, where is the key? I've forgotten where the key is. There's armour. I'll take armour. That's fine. There we go. Another one down. Stop super jumping in. You fool. That's something that annoys me about teammates online. Is they, they carelessly super jump. Just, I'm right next to the splat zone. Don't super jump to me. All the, all the enemy team is alive. Please do not jump. Yes, there are situations where you definitely shouldn't super jump, and I guess this sort of, this 
octoling level teaches you about that sort of thing. Like scenarios where you should and shouldn't jump. So hello. Gonna get my tool going for you there. Check him down. I thought the geyser would be in the way, but it wasn't. It's fine. Okay, one left, and it's uh, just above me, so how do I get up there? I guess I'll use this, uh, this gusher. Get me up there. And I'm gonna have to go close to their spawn. I see I see you getting ready. I see you on spawn. Let's break that. Get some more ink. And uh, are you just gonna walk out or are you gonna super jump out? Just walk out, okay, good. If you fall down there, you can climb back up, but I can go around. Unless another one spawns in. I should be fine. Oh there is another one. Okay, never mind. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm definitely not fine. Gotta deal with you first. And I didn't kill the... Okay, there's two of them around here. That's not good, really. Okay. One down. Oh, I killed both of them! Double double kill! Nice. I wasn't expecting to do that, but... Let's uh, go and grab the last... Uh, the last slapfish. If I have enough ink to break it. Please, thank you. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> okay, that was pretty fast. Which is good, because that gives me a lot of time to fight the boss. And the boss is a, is a pain. And I'll be right back one second. Oh, and I get another Krusty Sean ticket as well. Neat. Okay, let's get that ticket and just cash up. That's, uh, that's great. Not that I really use tickets that often. I don't find them to be that useful. I guess the cash tickets are one exception. But uh, I'm approaching level 50 now and uh, the EXP tickets will be useless very soon. Also, why did I... <laughs> Why do I attack, attack that grappling? It was completely useless. I need to get on this ink rail or ride rail and get to mid. Nice. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly as planned. I'm sure I've messed up doing that before. But uh, here we have the boss. This sector. It's uh, Lips for Days, the Octostop Returns. I guess he does have some pretty big DSLs. Wait, what? Anyway, this boss is a. Uh, as I keep mentioning, it's. Uh, it's pretty difficult, but not the first phase. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me uh, let me watch the opening cutscene. I've been skipping them, but I, f I feel like Octostomp is one exception that I should make. It uh, looks a bit ridiculous as he emerges out of the ground. Wah! 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 <laughs> it's, the, it's the eyes, you see. Makes it look a little bit more frightening than it should, I, I say. Wah! I, I also like the music, maybe I should be skipping. I'm back! Octostomp! So yeah, Octostomp was a boss in the original Splatoon, so that's why it says I'm back. This time he has some improvements. So uh, what we normally meant to do is ink ink the sides of him and climb up, but I find the easiest way is to throw splat bombs on top of him. You'll only be able to get uh, two or three splat bombs up there before he uh, turns back over again. So yeah, there's there's a few little, little things, but you can just dodge out of the way and get a couple of splat bombs up there, and it takes four splat bombs, never mind, I completely missed the throws there. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna have to go around for another phase. It does it doesn't actually matter, just dodge out of the way. Oh. Sometimes he jumps on top of you, sometimes he jumps back, and uh, sometimes he just slides across the arena and slams down. But uh, yeah, get four splat bombs up there to destroy the tentacle. And there's phase one down. So Phase 2 is when it starts to get a little bit difficult because he's got a new trick and he's got like, this this coat on and he's completely uninkable and it conceals his tentacle at the back. So now we need to break the clasp at the front and uh, yeah, he brought this sweet new coat. He's also got this uh, like splatling device on top of him now. And to break the, the clasp on the front of him, we need to hit him with bomb splash damage. Lots and lots of it. And this can take quite a while, which is why this boss is... It's not difficult, it's just very, very tedious doing this. It's back out of the way. I think if you throw a splat bomb like, right in front of him, that's the closest you'll get to the clasp. Then he's going to back away. Yeah. Okay, so you, you get used to the pattern after a while. And then he'll use his uh, splat thing again. He does that. I don't think he does that consistently. But uh, yeah, just get in front of him. Throw some splat bombs down. You can slide underneath him when he jumps into the air like that. Let's throw a splat bomb underneath him. I don't think that would... No, that wouldn't, wouldn't hit the clasp at all. Okay, let's slide on out the way. And he's not going to do his little jump thing, is he? Okay, there we go. 
Uh, I'm sure there's like a timing to it where you can hit him efficiently with squat bombs. He's gonna jump away, yes he is, okay. And uh, let's get the whip down there. It's just, it's, it'll take a very long time, but it is possible, I've done it. That's just all you need to know, is this is the technique, it's just very, very tedious. You can see it's doing damage though, because the clasp on the front is getting covered in ink. And uh, I, I should point out at this point that uh, I was thinking about maybe starting with Splatoon 1 hero mode before doing this mode, uh, before doing bombs only in uh, Splatoon 2. But uh, I found out it's probably impossible to do it in uh, Splatoon 1. I mean, it'd probably be easier for a lot of the levels because of uh, the fact that you have burst bombs in that game rather than, uh, rather than splat bombs and... Uh, Oh, you do have splat bombs in the original Splatoon as well. You just have uh, Seekers and you have Burst Bombs. And Burst Bombs explode on impact, so it would make things incredibly easy to navigate levels. Like, I've been just throwing curling bombs at walls to, to ink them, and that's very time-consuming. But with Burst Bombs, you can essentially just... You can cover them instantly, like a big explosion radius. But yeah, uh, that makes things easier, but it's the bosses that you wouldn't be able to do in the original Splatoon with bombs only. And uh, I did try on, I think it was the Ravenous Optimal, which is the fourth boss in the original Splatoon. And as I was attacking his tentacle, after I'd knocked him to the ground, um, I found that he was re he was regenerating health after a while, and I couldn't hit him with enough bombs in time to, like, break his tentacle. So yeah, impossible to fight the bosses with bombs only in the original Splatoon. Not so in this game, though. Let's fly underneath you there. I like the little imprint of his face he makes on the floor there. He's going to back away, isn't he? Yep. Oh, what? Not going to back away, he's just going to jump to a random corner. Okay, now he's got his uh, slide across the room technique. I think that might be a good time to hit him when he's sliding across the ground, because his clasp is, like, like close to the floor. And also, I don't think you can throw a splat bomb underneath him while he does a dive bomb, because it just crushes the bomb, it doesn't explode. So yeah, there are a few things that you can and can't do. Is he going to jump away? Yes, okay. Uh, I think his clasp is just about ready to break. A few more hits in. Yeah, you're going to slide across the ground. Didn't really give me enough time there, I don't think. There's a certain timing to it. I'm just running around throwing splat bombs. I need to get some ink back. I need curling bombs. Let's run away. Curling bombs good for sliding across the arena because this arena does get covered in ink very quickly. There's also something you can do uh, as he approaches you. He sort of struggles to swim through, uh, to like tread through your ink. There we go, broke his coat off. But yeah, he struggles to like, he starts wading through your colour ink, so. Yeah, you can use that to your advantage and sort of uh, back away slowly and he'll have to follow you but he'll do it quite slowly as well okay i can only get two bombs up there i think that was only three hits i need for him to uh jump on top again okay, turn around let's this time let's not mess up the bomb throws one two is it one more oh come on oh damn it T too slow um, i might have been able to do that i don't know it's gonna jump away he doesn't regain his coat after a while, so don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about. It. T just take your time. No need to worry about that. Uh, is he gonna jump on top now? Okay, there we go. Let's get another spot one up there, and that should be the end of the second phase. And the third phase is roughly the same, but uh, he's got a, a little trick up his sleeve. He's got a uh, multiple faces. It's kind of creepy still. Yeah, this dude just grew two more faces. Yes, I did not get out of the way in time. Okay, this knocks me off here, but that's okay. I'll just climb back up again. I uh, probably should wait for my armor to crystal before I climb up. Okay. Uh, be right back one second. Okay, let us resume gameplay. You'll now notice us. So, um, there's a little thing with like the gutter around the outside of the arena. Uh, if you go down the gutter, there's no way this guy can hit you, right? He's quite a big guy, and there's not an awful lot of room for him uh, down, down the side of the arena there. So there's a little thing where you might think you can avoid attacks just by going down the gutter. But that's not quite true because when he does his like splash down like that, uh, you notice I got pushed away slightly. That actually still applies even if you're off the edge of the stage. I should probably shut off, but I don't really want to because it'll probably end up me losing life. You know what I'll do anyway? If you fall down here and he does that jump, uh, it doesn't hit you. Uh, is he going to notice me? He's going to jump away. Okay. So what I want to do is get up here again. Please, get up. Come on, notice me! Um, what are you doing? 
He's just going around in a circle. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, I guess he... So, I had this thing before where he did that, and I still got hit, somehow. Like, is there any way of him fa for him to hit me down here? He's got his little splatling on top, but that's not really doing anything. I'm, I'm just kind of experimenting at this point. I don't think he can... He's going to do a slide, okay. No, I guess he can't hit me down here. Can he? No, he just backs away. Okay, but there was something I did before. I was doing like a practice run of this, this boss. And when he did that, like, jumping splashdown that he normally does, like face, face first into the ground, I was off the ledge, like in the gutter, and it propelled me so far away, even though he didn't actually connect with me. I just got propelled through the air. Can that happen again? No. It's, it's weird, I, I can't seem to replicate it, but I don't really want to, because it'll probably launch me off the edge and I'll just lose a life, and I don't really want to do that. But yeah, that's just something weird that happened uh, during the practice run. I thought that's like a countermeasure for like staying off the edge of the stage, like avoiding all damage. But no, it's not. It's it's, it's not apparently. Uh, what? Stop approaching! Jeez, I'm about to get crushed. No, never mind. I'm I'm okay. 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 So lure him back and start wading through my ink. This is the best way to go, I think. Oh, never mind. He's going to jump. Climb back up. Nice little ink trailer. Ugh. Sort of distorted face on the ground there. Back up. That's cool. And he's going to start strafing around the arena. So let's start throwing splat balls down while he does that. Because he doesn't really have any way of attacking us as we back up. He needs to get close to us in order to do this. Yep, he doesn't jump that far, so... It's fine. Let's uh, curling bomb away. He'll f be forced to pursue us. Let's go underneath. So it's just basically a case of... It's not that difficult to avoid. I, I think that adding the two faces was supposed to make him harder to avoid. But uh, you can just go underneath him. He's going to slide, isn't he? No, no, he's got, he's got his uh, like, splatting gun. Does that twice. Let's go down a little, more, a little bit more damage. Just persist in this, honestly. It's uh, Honestly, this is probably the reason why you shouldn't do a bombs only run, because this kind of thing is just so tedious. Also, I am out of ink. Just need to slide away. Okay. That might have been a bit close. I'm not sure I had my back turned. Not the best idea for this boss. Jump away. Okay. I, I don't know if he has like a set pattern for when he like jumps away, he's gonna like slide across, isn't he? <laughs> nope, still caught me. Okay, that's fine. Let me uh, go and restore some ink down there. <laughs> he can't see me, can he? No, okay. And now he sees me. I can't get up. Help, I've fallen and can't get up. Okay, time for the splat one. I need to preserve some ink, really, I think. Okay. Come on, a few more bombs. A few more, a few more. Hide down here. Oh no, that was close. That might have been the scenario where he propels me off the edge. Slide underneath. Oh, I was going to slide underneath him, but he backed away. Okay, now what? Slide? Yes. Avoid. Ugh, nice. That's actually quite difficult to avoid the sliding attack if you're not prepared for it, and the ink and the arena is covered in enemy ink. It's uh, not the easiest thing to dodge. Oh god, back away. Okay, I don't really want to get propelled away from the arena at this point. That'd be disastrous. I've already reduced his buckle to like. Oh, I'm sure it'll only take like two more bombs to destroy that. Okay, maybe maybe three. Nope, four. Come on! Five! No! God, this thing is just taking the piss. And uh, it gets worse with the fourth boss, as I mentioned. Uh, the fourth boss is even worse than this. The same deal, in that it's just... you need to hit him with splash damage. The fourth boss is just so much more... so much worse than this. Because uh, he's uh, flying in the air. And uh, it can be quite difficult to hit. Okay, this should be it, right? This should be the phase. Come on. Come on. Couple more. Oh, god damn it. The buckle is like completely covered in my ink. Oh, there's like one corner. Come on. Do it now. Whoa. Come on. Oh, that should have been it. I'm sure. I'm sure there's like a position that you can get. Come on. There we go. God. It's about time. Okay. Oh, whoa. He just 
went right in front of me there. Okay. Now he slides across the arena, but I think he does it. Oh no, he doesn't do it twice. I'm mistaken. I guess I'm thinking of the, like the second boss. Okay, I can only get one bomb up there now. It's okay. Let's dodge him again. Hit me, boy. Come on, chase me down. Oh, come on, get on. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer. Because I failed to get in the first bomb up there. Okay, that's fine. Come on, jump at me. Oh yeah, he like, sort of fakes you out a little bit. Okay, that should be it. Right, one, two. There we go. Nice. <sighs> Took a bit longer than normal. It normally takes me about ten minutes, so... A couple of extra minutes in there. I guess that was showing off like the gutter thing. Like falling down the edge of the arena. But there we, there we go, the Octostomp has been defeated again. Slightly wading in his ink there, for some reason. And let's get Zapfish and get the hell out of here. Okay, that took... That was actually a pretty decent episode. I don't think I'll do the first level of Sector 4 in this episode. I'm, I'm running a bit low on time today. But I'll, I'll head over to Sector 4 anyway, which is Slime Skin Garrison. And uh, let me actually manoeuvre to the first level of Sector 4. I won't pl start playing it in this episode, but I will in the next episode. Okay, the first level of Sector 4 is 16, correct? 16 is... oh! Well, I mean, not exactly difficult to get to, it's just up here. Uh, let's... <laughs> hey, hey, we're here! Right, okay, so, uh, that's it for now. In the next episode, we will begin Sector 4, and we'll probably do the first three levels of Sector 4. And we'll start with level 16, Secret Bowling Alley, rolling through the ink. So I will see you next time for this level, and two more. Bye-bye, for now. <laughs>